Hey guys, foley 3 gets here, and welcome back to another video. And today I'm covering a topic that's a little bit different. And, uh, this topic is polyrhythms. I've, polyrhythms. I've actually never covered something like this on the channel, or uh, I don't ever. I don't at least remember ever doing that. I don't think I did. But these are not ordinary poly polyrhythms. Uh, it's not, we're not really working with any three over two or four, three over two or four over three alone, but it's actually, I'm working on some a little more complicated polyrhythms and showing you some cool things that I think are pretty cool. And you would probably think they're pretty cool too. They're actually pretty easy. So they're multi polyrhythms. They have more than two. So they have like three plus and we're dealing with some nine polyrhythms. So Poly polyrhythms with nine nines in them and I'm going to be playing for you them and showing you how to play them and actually notating them on paper and then I'm also going to try to implement them into the piano too and maybe come up with something that you could play with e these polyrhythms so yeah let's just get straight into the video okay so the first thing that we're going to be talking about is a 9-2 polyrhythm and the reason we're doing this first is because it's the simplest way to think about it. If you ever want to figure out how to play a tuplet, such as a nine tuplet or a three, like a triplet or a quintuplet, the best way to do it is to write it down in that time signature, such as nine, eight, or five, four, or three, eight, or three, four, and uh, then figure out where the two lands. So for example, this is just an example, for a three, two polyrhythm, the two lands between the two for the three. So it's... So it, the two lands on the two, on the and, like if I was in three eight, the two would be made up of a duplet, or it could just be made up of dotted eights. So... Then for a four, it's like... Four two, and that's just basically a two one twice. But then for like a five two, it's like... And it keeps repeating that, so it lands on the end of three. But we're talking about a nine here, so we're just going to skip a bunch of numbers. When you get to nine, it lands on the end of five. So how do you do that? Do you just think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? No, I'm going to tell you, don't do that. The way you want to think of it is in groups of three, three groups of three. So you're still thinking about it in nine, but you're going one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. And then you're doing that again, so yeah. So you're doing da 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 and then the only difference is on the and of the second one. So basically between, so on the second group of uh, the triplets, well not triplets, but eighth notes, you're going to be on the and of the middle of it. So it's basically putting a three, two polyrhythm in the middle of it. So basically you're doing da 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 one, two, three, one, two, 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 three. Yeah, so it's... So yeah, pretty simple. Then, let's raise the one on the bottom again. So 9-3. Well, 9-3 polyrhythm is as simple as it gets. As I said before, you want to think of a 9-8 or a 9-4 groove, or even, I guess, 9-16 if you're really doing that. But you want to think of it in three most of the time. Now, that is... There are exceptions. There are certain different groupings of 9-4 and 9-8, but the one we're doing is in groups of three. So, that's pretty simple. So why would you ever, that's not, most people wouldn't even consider that a polyrhythm. Why is that important? Because we're going to put, make a trirhythmic polyrhythm, which has three rhythms in one. So we're going to do a 9 Two and a nine three at the same time. So a nine three two polyrhythm, and then we're going to get even more complicated. We're going to do a nine three six polyrhythm. So what's a nine six polyrhythm? It sounds pretty complicated. Well, it's really not actually. It's basically just a three two polyrhythm, except the strong beat is on one, and then there's three different subdivisions. So. Six. Nine. 
So yeah, I'm gonna actually hop over there and start up a different video and then we're gonna show you how to actually play these on the set. Before we implement anything too complicated, we're just going to do a nine two on the drum set. My bass is gonna be doing the, or no, you know, my hi-hat's gonna be doing the two, that's what I'm gonna do. Hi-hat's gonna be doing the two. I'm actually gonna probably use the uh, high tom just because I just, I'm used to it, so. So yeah, and then I'm going to give a strong beat on my left hand so that you can hear. something a little bit spicy. We're going to add in the three on the bass drum. So yeah, we're going to add the three on the bass drum and then we're going to keep the two. We're not doing anything with the left hand except for the one right now. and the hi-hat, I'm essentially just playing a 3-2, but then I'm adding a 9 on top of that. So it's a little bit complicated. You can actually notate this in 9-8 with no tuplets, all of this stuff that I'm going to show you. You can notate it in with no tuplets at all. You could notate with tuplets. Quite frankly, I think that's kind of stupid, though. I would never do that. You could also just use duplets, but I just use dots. Dots are way easier to notate. <laughs> So now we're going to remember the six. So we're going to do the six. I'm thinking of doing a side stick, but I don't know if that'll be loud enough. But I'm going to do just this nine and the six right now. So we're going to have a four polyrhythm. We're going to have a quadrhythmic polyrhythm. Four rhythms at one time. Can I do it? Yes. And you probably, yes. You probably can too. If you practice hard enough, or some people it just comes naturally. For me, it's not really that tough for some reason. But it is tough to learn at first. Don't think that I just picked this up. It will take some work. But it's not impossible. Not nearly impossible if you put your mind to it. It's really... Because all these things that I'm going to do are based on 3-2 polyrhythms. The bass drum and the thing, what is it called? Hi-hat, the bass drum and the hi-hat are based on 2, or 3-2 polyrhythms, sorry. The, uh, the right hand and the left hand are based on 3-2 polyrhythms. All it really is, when you think about it, is an augmented polyrhythm for the feet, and then just a regular polyrhythm for that. So we're going to do it kind of slow, we're going to do this pretty slow. Things like that 
I haven't really worked on making fills with that though, but you could always just put those into fills. Now you have to notice what the song is like. If the style is in like a six, eight, three, four, if that makes sense to you, like dum, 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 then it will sound a little weird if you start adding into that because that's just a little weird. So you have to, if you're making your own song though, you can do whatever you want. But if you're playing and like, for a band or something, I'd watch out about using those. But yeah, so that was how to do that four-way polyrhythm. But we're actually looking at a different one now for this next part of the video. That it's still a nine though. It's still a nine polyrhythm, so I'll be okay. right back. So for the next polyrhythm that is based on a nine, it's nine four. And now that probably sounds really complicated to you. And it is pretty complicated, I'm not gonna lie. But it isn't too complicated. Uh, I have to get a pencil really quick. I notated part of this wrong. But when you're taking a polyrhythm, any polyrhythm, you're having, like, say, nine four. So you have nine sets of four. So, yeah, nine sets of 30-second notes. But then you have four sets of nine. Four sets of nine 30-second notes. So if you turn those into just regular quarter notes and uh, 16th notes... Then it actually becomes quite a bit easy, or easier, not easy, but easier. So you can do that, and it's actually not impossible. This is, yeah, this is supposed to be a 30 second. Let me fix this really quick. So yeah, it's not too complicated, actually. And it still has the 2, the 9-2, which is the da 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 So it still has that in there. So be aware of that. Um, it's really not too complicated. So this is the way it looks, notated on the paper. Now it looks backwards to me, but it'll look normal for you, hopefully. Da 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 Yeah, da 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 So that's all it is. So that's all this thing is. It's pretty tough, but you can get it. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually going to implement that 9-4 polyrhythm with the 9-3 polyrhythm. And then what you'll you'll hear is a 4-3 polyrhythm. Cool, hopefully. I still gotta prepare this one more time before I film it, but it'll be interesting. And then we might, we'll probably try to get the two in there too. To be honest with you though, I mean, it doesn't make much of a difference, but it does sound better if you have the two. So we'll keep the same basic stuff just so it doesn't throw me off. The two will be done on the hi-hat. The four will be done, though the four is new. The four will be done on the snare, and then the three will be done on the bass. The thing about doing this is, that's four, you can't, it's kind of really, actually really tough to have a five polyrhythm, like a, a quint rhythmic, I guess you would call it, polyrhythm, because if you have five rhythms at once, look, one, two, three, four. You have four limbs, so you'd have to do something like this, and you'd have to have another stick, and you'd have to stretch it out and go like that, and then it'd be really awkward. I'm sure there's people that can do it, though. I'm very certain. I just didn't see many videos about nine polyrhythms like this, so I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. So, I just had to practice it once or twice, but I'm going to do it really slow, hopefully, at first, unless I mess it up and do it fast. But I'm going to do it really slow so you can hear how it sounds. And so I'm going to just start playing the 9-4. doing the 4-3 polyrhythm quite slowly. Now we're going to make it complicated and we're going to try to add the 2, which actually isn't really making it that much complicated. It's just coordinating the things that makes it complicated. It's hard 
because you keep I keep wanting to play a, a three on here, but you have to play a two. So that's really cool. You can. And yes, I will probably make another video, guys, about uh seven polyrhythms. So seven two, seven four, seven three. I'll probably make another video about that, or maybe about five, five three, five two, five four. I'll pro even you can even have five six, which really tough. But I'll make another video about polyrhythms. Okay, so I forgot to go over some of the other stuff I was promised to go over, and I'm going to go over it now. Piano stuff. So we're gonna just take a key, C major, and we're going to take that key, and then we're going to implement some of this. Maybe even come up with a little, I guess, song. I do write my own songs. I never really put them, I don't really put them on here that often. I don't really want anyone stealing them. But we'll come up with something that I don't care about, and then, yeah. All right. So the le the right hand I'm thinking is going to be, yeah, the right hand actually is definitely going to be a nine. If you're left-handed, you could make up your own thing that has a different, you know, left hand doing the nine. I, I don't really like that that much, but you can do it. I mean, if you <laughs> can do it, I'm really not coordinating with my left hand. Anyways. So that's the three. Okay. Yeah, so what we're doing right here is we're doing a three two on the left hand. So wait. both on one, and then the thumb is doing the three. Yeah, so it's a little tough. It's more difficult to do it because you only have two hands for the piano, so it's a little difficult to do. actually in 6-8. Whoops, but yeah, uh, you can do that. If you want to do a 9-4, you can do that too. You can do... Yeah. So if you do that, you can just add the 3 and the 2, and then there you go. You have a... So yeah, you can do that. It's really difficult, but you can totally do it. See, so yeah, you can definitely do that. So yeah, that's just a short chord progression one two five thing you can do with polyrhythms so yeah this has been foley three kids if you like the video subscribe again i said that earlier i'll probably cut it out but that was before i forgot about the piano part so yeah if you liked subscribe for more and i'll see you next